Hey everybody, sharing a super fast project. There's a group that I belong to on Facebook. Many of you may also belong called Lunch with a Glass Artist. It's a free group that does free calls, Zoom calls every Saturday. It's really fun. And um, that group has uh, decided to do a little um, uh, uh, creative exercise throughout the year. And uh, the first one is to uh, kind of, it's a little bit of a challenge to create a heart piece infusing that uses a lot of texture. That's it. Those are the parameters. And so um, I'm, I may be cheating a little bit here because I'm uh, kind of pressed for time uh, being out on vacation and, and such. Um, but I had this frame that I'd picked up uh, for a dollar at uh, some at a thrift shop and uh, I didn't know what I would use it for and I've decided to use it for this project. Uh, it had uh, lucky for me, a really nice red background, so I don't even think I need to put any paper in here or anything. What I've done is I've popped the uh, original glass out, I've cleaned it, I'm going to drop it back in and uh, put this back in here. And so I have a nice, clean starting point here. And again, I don't have to put any paper or anything back there to hide the um, ugly easel back because it's actually not ugly in this case. So what I'm going to do is I have a lot of different hearts that I've fused over time. This is one that was in a um, mold. It was a, a little bisqueware uh, dish that Target sold a couple years ago, so you're not going to be able to find it anymore. But I bought a few of them, and um, I had this heart on hand. And then I have lots of other hearts in pinks, reds, and purples. I'm trying to grab them here. They're a little bit out of my reach. Uh, that I've just made over time. And uh, what I've decided to do is I'm going to use just a little bit of silicone adhesive and I'm going to glue these different hearts in here and I'm going to stack them and kind of get some layers going and maybe even put a, a few on the frame itself. And uh, then that'll become my, my heart piece with some, some texture. So I know gluing it is a little bit cheating. Uh, it's cold fusion, <laughs> uh, but this was something I thought could be a little a uh, little fun way to use up some of these hearts and to use this frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, there you go. Here's the finished product. I was up here taking some photos and thought I would just show you real quick. So you can see the texture on there. You see how dimensional that is. The um, dichroic glass in that clear heart is kind of fun. And uh, just really pleased. I mean, it's heavy. It's got some heft to it, but it still sits up well on its stand. And uh, I'm real pleased how this turned out. So hopefully you enjoyed this gluing on there. It worked just fine. I think we call it cold fusion in the business. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little something, give you a little bit of inspiration and uh, have fun. Bye.